So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to organize your desktop and create new folders, how to make screensavers, how to set up a screensaver, and also how to set up your desktop background. This tutorial is uh, dedicated for, is made for beginners that are trying to figure out how to use the Windows GUI, which means graphical user interface. Um, first thing we'll do is we'll uh, we'll look at our icons here. If really important icons when you're using Windows are, um, if you notice, we got these right here. But our very important icons are computer and control panel. We use we use those a lot. Also, documents is a really important one, and we want to put them here. So what we were going to do is we right click in the screen and we go to personalize. Now personalize. Not only are we going to put more icons, we also can change the screensaver. We also can change the desktop background, sounds, everything. So right now we're going to do the desktop icons right here. Which is basically the first thing you do setting up a computer, you set up the icons. You click on, you want my computer, you want a control panel, and we'll go with network too. We'll hit apply. If you notice, now we have them over here. Okay, so we hit OK. Now let, let's change the, the screensaver screensaver there's different ones there's 3d text you can put whatever text you want you can make it move however you want blank if you don't want nothing bubbles that one's pretty cool if you notice the bubbles there mystify it's like these lines coming it's pretty cool photos you can put custom photos in there ribbons we'll go to the 3d text for now it says Windows 7 we'll keep the default we'll put it for one minute so we can see it on right away and you can choose if you want to do on resume display so let, let, let's say your screensaver comes up and you're working on something important and you don't want nobody to mess around with. Whenever, when if somebody comes and moves your mouse or something and the computer comes back up, they'll have to log in. So we'll turn that on. It's a really important security feature. Hit apply, hit OK. We got the screensaver done. Desktop background, right now if you notice it changes every 10 seconds to a different one. It's pretty cool. Basically what you do is you, you check the ones you want and then right here you choose 10 seconds, however you want to do it. And there's other pictures. You want to look for your picture. You hit browse right here. And wherever you have it, you can find it and put it here. Okay. So there we have it. We set up the screensaver. We got desktop background. Okay, now when it comes to the icons, we notice they're right here. You can do drag and drop. You can put them wherever you want. You, you want to customize them that way. Also, what you can do is right click the screen, hit view, go to view. You can make them larger too. I like a medium. Sort by. You can sort them by name, alphabetical order, size, item type. That's one of my favorites, just in case I want all my, uh, like if I want all my folders together. I don't know why these aren't together right now. Because well, that's my documents, I think. But you've noticed all the shortcuts are together. See these guys with the arrow to them? Those are shortcuts. They're together. These are together. You get what I'm saying. Okay, so date modified. <clears throat> you can also. You can also change it to date modified. That kit. If you want to see which one was the last document or folder or whatever you just made, we'll do. You can do that. You notice these were the last ones we just made, so that's why they're there. And if if you change, if you put something here, you don't see it. It happens a lot in Windows. Hit refresh right here, and it'll refresh it. You'll see it. All right. If you want to make a new folder, you just right click, go to new, then folder, and hit backspace and call it folder one whatever you want to call it just click outside to to make the name go in there and you can open it you can open this folder and make a new folder too one you can even open this folder and make another folder if you want I mean the organ the organization structure of this is amazing folder three you know whatever you want to call it and inside this folder you can you go to new you can make you can make a text document Exam we'll call it sample. You can open it. You can make it's a text, you know. You can indeed you can make as much folders as you want. You just go to new and you can make a new one. Compressed zip folder. If you want to compress some files. I mean you you can do a lot here. So so there's our folder right here. You can make more and more folders. You can make all the folders you want. Another cool thing I want to show you guys is changing the picture of the folder. So what you do is you right click the folder, 
you hit properties you go to let me see if I could find it I think it was in advanced was it advanced uh, customize over here the customize tab over here change icon down here you can change it to whatever you want let's say we wanted to do we're making a web page or something okay we have that picture and there we go oh, it, it did another picture I think I chose the wrong one <laughs> but there it is see you can change the pictures of the folders so that's how you can organize folders and that's how you that's basically how you um, organize a desktop and you change the background and everything and that's that's pretty much it Windows 7 is very user friendly and um, I hope this tutorial has helped you a lot and uh, have a good day.